guys, welcome back to my channel. I was meant to do a LeBron 13 review about a month ago, but something happened. Cut the footage. As you can see, I was wearing the LeBron 12s and that, and I've come down and I've landed just unluckily on the side of my foot. And so a lot of people are like, oh, you're gonna start wearing some highs now. And I'm like, well, I still don't like the comfort or the bulkiness of wearing a high, but I'm gonna show you how to tape your ankle so you can have the support you need whilst wearing a low. All right, let's get into the shoe. So I've got the LeBron 13, um, Friday the 13th. I really like the white and white finish. The um, the red, the red blood is a little bit tacky, but you know it, it, it's something that I find unique. Um, so when you're going for a LeBron 13, make sure you try them on. If you're usually a 10 like myself, I would recommend going down to a 9.5. As you can see, the shoe is a lot longer than usual, and it's got the hyperposit across the top here, which means it's gonna give you good lockdown support, but if you have a foot that's a little bit swollen like mine, or just like a bigger foot in general, um, not just lengthways, but I mean that arch. It, if you have a high arch, you might find it hard to actually fit in this. So go to a game half an hour early, and because you're gonna need the time to try and get into it. The lockdown support across the ankle was um, pretty good. I locked in there really well, um, I guess because the hyperposit finished on the outside as well. Um, the hexagonal uh, plates on the bottom, there's less of them in this year's model. LeBron James wanted to make it a little bit more technical than most shoes, so he just put them in the places that he really needed them. The traction was awesome. It, it was a snug fit and that's what I like. I like to feel like there's nothing loose between a shoe. Because I jumped back into my uh, Kobe Mumbacurial 10s and once I chucked them on and they're low, I was like, wow, I actually really did enjoy the support of the 13. The lightweight combination of materials across the top makes this a really lightweight shoe, especially for something that's high. Um, in most models that are a, a high cut, you find them to be quite chunky and but I found I was able to be explosive out of these and move side to side without worrying about my ankle. I think I picked these up for 279 Australian. Um, if you get them from Foot Locker, obviously if you use the Locker code, you can get 10% off. Um, I really recommend it because once you start getting into shoes, you do get a fair bit of rewards and sometimes you get 30% off shoes when you're lucky. I'm gonna give it a six and a half out of 10, not because it's a bad shoe, but the shoe just doesn't fit me. So I really want you to try it on before you before you think about buying it. Uh, I think it's a very particular fit. Um, or maybe I just have a weird foot. Who knows? So I hope you guys liked my video. Uh, give me a subscription if you found that helpful. In the future, I'm gonna be doing some more stuff on health and fitness as well. Not just shoe reviews, but I'll try and keep a pretty basketball relative. Um, people have been asking me to do a review on a couple of running shoes, so I'm going to do a Nike Flyknit Racer versus the Adidas Ultra Boost. Um, I'll see you guys soon, and thank you very much for watching my video.